Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Yes, Mercato is crazy, my friends. Mercato, 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 Mercato. Normally, we should focus on Fiorentina versus Juve, the last game of the season, but we already presented a new shirt. The season is over and we want to forget 21-22. Let's focus on the new season, season 22-23. And I can already tell you that in that video, we'll speak about a lot of names that are already well known and on all the Italian papers, but we will also see the first, the first idea of the line of 22-23, trying to explain a bit how Juventus will play. Stay here because there is a name, a name that we all love, Sergei Milinkovic Savic, that we will have to speak about in the end of the video. So maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel. We start immediately after the intro. Before going in all the papers, my friends, you know that I was traveling to Torino. It was really nice, super nice. I bought the Italian papers, but meanwhile, there were a lot of notifications on my phone. Thanks to OneFootball, the best app to remain up to date with everything regarding Juventus, especially if you are not able to watch the videos, if you are not able to go on social network, you have OneFootball that is sending you all the notifications about the scores, like under 23 yesterday. Unfortunately, they lost 1-0. We'll speak about that also towards the really end of the video but my friends download it for free ios or android whatever it is for free you download it with the link into the description or the qr code you do whatever you want we start because yesterday we spoke about paul pogba on monday there was that big meeting that long meeting where they spoke about paul pogba and other players like moise ken like luca pellegrini like matez de Ligt. but paul pogba is on the front page of tuto sport this morning with juve pogba blitz inglese they will be or there is already a really really travel a travel from Cherubini to London what are they speaking about why is Cherubini in London we are going inside the papers after the news of Fabrizio Romano that is saying it will not be for Manchester City because Paul Pogba already said no I don't want to go there but Juventus prepared an offer and no at the moment Paul Pogba is thinking about it he knows that it will not be the same offer as Paris Saint-Germain because Paris Saint-Germain is offering four years for Paul Pogba at 11 million plus bonus that's a long contract that's a lot of money more or less the same that he's having now at United but he's thinking about a hard decision the one of Juventus that is going with more or less eight plus two three years so a bit shorter he knows it but he will be key at Juventus a role that is really there as a leader in the midfield and a leader in that Juventus that will lose uh, Giorgio Chiellini pay attention to Paul Pogba my friends it is not over because we know it and we already mentioned it Cherubini is in London why to speak officially with Manchester United because we respect each other club telling them that we will start really the negotiation not only with the agent but also with the players but also to speak with Arsenal not to speak about Vlaovic not to speak about Locatelli <laughs> they are not going there because we already bought them but to speak about another player about Arthur uh, Arthur and Gab Gabriel Swap, and that's an important one because we are still interested in that center back to reinforce after Chiellini our center backs. We know that uh, Leonardo Bonucci will be the captain and most likely one of the starters. De Ligt is there, and we'll speak about De Ligt in a few seconds that he can be there next season, but even longer than next season, they will speak with Arsenal. Maybe that swap is really interesting. Arthur, that is absolutely not in the ideas as a starter for Massimiliano Allegri's 22-20. Juventus but maybe to have Gabriel instead one that is really on top of the priorities for Juventus not only them because if it would fail with Gabriel Juventus is still in my Thomas Partey, a player that was linked to Juve 2-3 years ago, which actually shows us that Juventus do not want to stop with Paul Pogba. They are looking for an extra midfielder. Maybe it will be Thomas Partey. Speaking about Paul, uh, about Matthias De Ligt, we know that Chiellini is leaving. It will be his last game versus Fiorentina. Will he play an entire game of a few minutes? We don't know. But De Ligt, the contract negotiation already started. Also on Monday when Juventus was meeting the clan Raiola, the agent of uh, Paul Pogba but also the agent of De Ligt and the other players that I already mentioned they already started with the talks and what they want to do is extend the contract to not have the same situation as Paul 
Paolo Dybala. They want to renew his contract until 2026 with the same salary, the same condition. We know that uh, Matthias De Ligt already has a 12 million uh, contract a year, not 12 million fixed, but 8 plus 4 in a lot of bonuses. They want to extend him until 2026 with the only difference that the clause that is existing now and that is at 120 million euro that will be activated from June will be actually lowered. So that means that uh, De Ligt could maybe leave in 25 or 26 with lower close at 120 million that's one condition to actually extend the Dutchman Milenkovic the one of Fiorentina is still a priority for Juventus if Gabriel would fail after we failed for Rudiger after Bremer is more and more difficult Virko Wood one of the players that won the Champions League with Juve he said pay attention I watch closely Milenkovic and I would not recommend you because he made a lot of mistakes this season I have to say that I was a big big fan of Milenkovic in the past season this season he made a really a lot of mistakes so I don't know if it's the really great plan to have Milenkovic, Milenkovic at Juventus speaking about that Monday meeting about the list about uh, Pellegrini about Pogba they also spoke about Moisken Moisken that didn't convince entirely Juventus this season and also the Juventus fans we know it even if uh, he scored a really beautiful goal when I was there at the stadium at Roma the beautiful 1-0 win it was not enough to convince Juventus so what did they speak about to actually buy definitely from Everton Moisken to then change him and swap him with Paris Saint-Germain Moisken to Paris Saint-Germain that would actually take all the uh, the contract negotiation with Everton they will buy uh, actually the money to Juventus so that Juventus buying from Everton but instead they will give us Paredes two players that are not starter of Paris Saint-Germain and Juventus that can actually find some joy Moisken going back to Paris Saint-Germain where he already played one season Paredes going back to Serie A where he played with two clubs Empoli and Roma maybe now it's time for Paredes to be one of the midfielders next to uh, Paul Pogba let's see what will happen there but that really Reinforce again the fact that Juventus is not looking for one but for two midfielders. Luca Bianchini saying that Bernardeschi is still on hold. There will be a meeting, a last meeting on fr Friday to see what will be the future of Bernardeschi. Lowering in salary and staying at Juventus because we know that Morata could leave. You know that uh, Juventus will do a last attempt to Atletico Madrid 15 million plus 5 of easy bonuses to reach what will Atletico Madrid say yes or no if I'm Atletico Madrid says no maybe Bernardeschi will have more chances to stay at Juventus lowering in salary knowing also that Moiskin will leave Bernardeschi could be the solution to have a bench player that we don't have to replace otherwise again a lot of money will have to be spent to find a, a sub and not even a starter so Juventus is taking their time let's see what will happen with Bernardeschi we spoke about Morata, what is Gazzetta dello Sport speaking? Because that's the one that is on the cover of the video today, Perisic. Because they are saying we keep Lotaro and they put Lotaro next to Paolo Dybala and then they are saying mi prendo Perisic, I will take Perisic. Who will take Perisic? Juventus because we already see Perisic with the old 21-22 shirt. He's there with open arms, Perisic could be a player of Juventus. One football is reporting that Perisic Perisic is interested in the offer of Juventus, but also in talks with Chelsea, for example. He's in talks with Premier League clubs, but he didn't say no to Juventus because he's attracted by the plan of Massimiliano Allegri, like Sky Sport Italia was reporting. Gazzetta dello Sport is insisting, and we know they are really well informed about what's happening at Inter. They are insisting that Juventus and Perisic are really close with an offer of two years for six million a year for the 33 years old uh, Croatian player. Let's see what will happen there will it uh, happen with Paolo Dybala no because if Perisic will come Paolo Dybala is closer and closer to Inter that is what the uh, Tuto Sport is reporting today with that actually swap a free swap free to Inter Dybala free to Juve Perisic but pay attention because um, one football is reporting some words of Roma of Totti that are really believing in uh, Paolo Dybala being a player of Roma next season why are they saying that because apparently 
apparently during the game that I was there, some supporters were saying and they were all screaming, Kinon Salta Interista, eh? who is not jumping is an Interista, inviting Paolo Dybala to jump. And then they said, don't go to Inter Paolo Dybala. And Dybala said, I will never go there. I promise you, I will never go there. Gazzetta dello Sport is insisting. He said no. And that's why one football is reporting what in Italy has been said, that Paolo Dybala is a target of Roma. Guys, according to me, he will not go to Roma. I don't see Paolo Dybala going to Roma because I don't even know if they have enough money so Inter all'attacco Lautaro con Dybala I continue to say what uh, Gapuano and Gazzetta dello Sport are saying after the season a few days later there should be a real offer on paper on contract from Inter to Dybala for four years at six million plus bonus let's see what will happen how will the new Juventus look like I told you I promised you in the beginning of the video Chesney into the goal and then Quadrado or Danilo on the right side Bonucci de Ligt Alexandro in the middle Zach Caria, Locatelli, Pogba, Di Maria on the right side, Vlaovic and Perisic on the left. My friends, we are in May. This is a first initial idea of Gazzetta dello Sport because we know that if we are taking three players for free, the idea is to reinforce position like the left back because Alexandro will not be a starter. He will probably continue to be at Juventus because he has a really high salary. He has one more year of contract. Nobody wants to pay him as much as he's earning at Juventus. So who will be sacrificed? Probably Luca Pellegrini and Alexandro will be a bench player waiting for who will come as a left back. Will it be Emerson Palmieri? Will it be Wendell? Will it be Udoji? We don't know at the moment. We have to wait and see. In terms of center backs, we are still talking about Gabriel, as I told you, and there are other people on that list. Let's see. Romagnoli and so on and so on. Guys, this looks like a promising Juventus in terms of offensive power, especially with Di Maria and Perisic that can really give these assists to Vlaovic. Vlaovic that needs to be assisted and that would be one of the solutions. You are telling me, Beppe, but what about about Federico Chiesa. Federico Chiesa is a player that will need time after the ECL injury. He will need time to come back. With a Perisic, he will have all the time in the world to come back. About Di Maria, I already told you the mentor of uh, Mattias Sule that yesterday, play, yesterday played an excellent game. But it's not over. I told you about Thomas Partey. I told you about Paredes. Next to Paul, Paul Pogba. Guys, my friends, if Juventus is thinking about the crazy idea. The crazy idea of not having only Paul Pogba, but also Sergei Milinkovic Savic. The Sergente. Il Sergente that could come and join Juventus because Corriere dello Sport is saying Milinkovic vuole la Juve. Milinkovic really wants Juventus. The problem, and the only problem is Lotito. Lotito, he doesn't want to leave him at uh, Juventus. He wants to sell him abroad for what money we don't know. 50, 60, 70. 70, 80 million euro, we don't know, but Lotito, he said no to Juve at the moment. It will be a battle between the agents of the clan Milinkovic to fulfill his dream of going to Juve and with Lotito. What will happen, we don't know. And maybe the strategy of Juventus to go for a lot of free players, experience older players, is to have Milinkovic Savic next to Paul Pogba. Let's see, we will have to follow that up because Sergei Milinkovic Savic to Juventus is not dead. If I have to give a percentage, I will give you 15%, really low, but 15 in Mercato can become 0 or can become 100. Let's see what will happen. Yesterday, I already told you, under 23 were playing their first game versus Padova. They lost 1-0. Wait, it is not over. There is the return game to be played soon. We finish with two other news. One that you will not hear about is the Plus Valencia case, the profit case. You know that uh, Juventus and all the other players and clubs were free. There was absolutely no problems. Lega tried again to open a dossier with a second attempt and it was yesterday declined. They said no, we will not reopen the case. You will not hear that uh, news because they said no, but I just wanted to mention. Guys, a uh, last update before closing the video. Hoping that you are still there, that you put a maximum of like and that you subscribe. Mbappé is not anymore available on the site online store of Paris Saint-Germain. You can't click the number 7 with Mbappé. Is it related to Juve? No. He will probably and most likely go to Real Madrid but one player that is still there is Di Maria you can still buy him how long I don't know my friends I hope you enjoyed the video maximum of like subscribe to the channel Forza Juve